<laughs> There's two Adam Kings on the line right now. <laughs> the funniest. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, like all you From New York City, you are now tuned into NYYNews.com radio with your host, NYY News Felix, for the latest New York Yankees news and rumors. New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYYNews.com with my co host, too. Adam King, the King Source. Adam King, the King Source, the most popular name, I, in my opinion, in Yankees universe. Every Yankees community knows who Adam King is. Why do you think that is, Adam? Uh, I don't really know. I think it's people love talking bad against me or something. They they need somebody to mock or whatever. And they pick I, me. I don't think. I, I think twenty percent of your following are haters, and the other eighty percent just find you interesting. To be honest. Now, that seems about right. Every time I put a post up, somebody says something they shouldn't be saying on there. And I just remove the comment or hide it. Like, give an example. What's the most horrific thing somebody has ever told you that just pops up in your, your head? I was talking to a girl. She's 18, by the way. She's a softball player here in Idaho Falls that I've been tutoring, helping her with batting and everything. And I just happened to say that she's pretty because she has self-esteem issues. I know that most people don't. And this guy goes on and goes, why don't you throw it into your bed, rip her clothes off, have fun? And he it was a lot more vile than that. So I you said it so in, in, a, in a nice way, and he said it in a perverted way. Yeah. I got so mad. I went and talked to her dad, who's a cop, by the way. And, yeah. He took it, and that's last I heard. It's been four, a couple months ago. I think two months ago, whatever it was. Jeez, and he, so let's talk about the Yankees. Yankees playing, uh, hosting the Chicago White Sox at home. What do you think about that series? Um few hitters scare me because for every reason they're not very good but they play the yankees they wait to no end one is tim anderson um then there's one i'm not even sure he's playing elon or whatever his name is jimenez eloy jimenez i think is his name i'm not sure he's playing he was on the il last i heard but th these guys they just wait against the yankees for no good reason there's is several tim like anderson that. playing you said uh, i think he was in the lineup let me check that real quick and is Joel donaldson in the yankees lineup i believe he was because this is a rematch of last year. Yeah, just go to MLB.com, tickle on the game day, and Donald's at third base batting fourth. Tim Anderson's leading off for the White uh -oh. Sox. He has no home runs this year. Last season, uh, Tim Anderson threw Josh yeah. Donaldson off his game. He was never the same. Tim Anderson game. and Ben Attendi have no home runs. They're batting first and second. Watch them both go deep. What? Tim Anderson is homerless this season? So is Andrew Ben Attendi. Neither for the ball out. Watch them both go deep. I can't believe that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time that seeing true? that. Tim Anderson is homerless this season. That's what MLB.com shows. I got to look that up. It's hard to believe. How many games has he played? Let's see what MLB.com shows. 172 at bat, so that's got to be most of the games. Yeah, 42 games and no home runs. What is going on there? No triples either. Has had a triple since 2021. Whoa, hold up. Let's see. Only six homers last year. Is he hurt wow. or something? You're correct. What is going on with Tim Anderson? That was a little weird. <laughs> wow. Zero home runs. And he's yeah. considered, to many, one of the top ten faces in baseball. What's up with that? I hope that's going on this year. I don't know if he's hurt or what, but 42 games is not every game. Every team's played over 60 now, so maybe there's IL stint and they're throwing him off. So, Adam, what were you doing earlier? You were calling a dentist? Yep, I'm getting two root canals and a couple of fillings done tomorrow. Two root canals and crowns. And how yep. much did they charge you for that, for the uh, x-rays to see if you need a um, root canal? They don't need x-rays. I've been going to this dentist office over a year now. They had them last year. Total I'll be paying tomorrow is about 4800 4800 Yeah. Is insurance going to cover that or what? I'm going to cover it. You're going to cover it? I got some money saved up. We'll just throw that in there. Better get out of pain than still be stuck in Sheesh. pain. So, so actually, your teeth actually hurt. Oh yeah, I'm in pain right now. What do you say? You take any medication for that? Um, I've got some. Uh, what's it called? It's a off-brand Lortab. Got about four of those pills. I took one of those a couple hours ago. And I'll take another one before I go to bed tonight. And then I'll just go into the dentist tomorrow because I know he's going to 
inject that stuff, the pain will be gone. And what's the side effects from those medications that you take? Because I've noticed that you've been kind of quiet. Has it, like, done something to your personality? Not really. It's mostly I get an upset stomach. If I have an upset stomach, I'm not going to be on Twitter or doing much. Oh, because you're running to the toilet all the time. Yeah, I puked about eight times the last two weeks. <laughs> Sheesh, because I've noticed that, like, the last two to three weeks you've been quiet. Yeah, I've been also been dealing with a lot of court hearings with the BSA lawsuits and other lawsuits as well. Okay, okay. So what do you think about the Yankees so far? Obviously, they have turned the corner, as Boone says. What do you think about this team? <sighs> They're playing good ball, but I wouldn't quite say they turned the corner or anything like that. So, so what's up with your number one troll, uh, Reese Van Dam? Has he ever called you or what? No contact in a few months. I haven't been checking his pages or anything. I'm just ignoring the trolls. I mean, he talks about you nonstop. But no con. He's not, he hasn't even tried to contact. I've tried calling him at least once a day the last several months. Nothing. He's a chicken. I mean, I don't know if you want to call him again or what. No, I'm done. I stopped about a week ago. I'm, I'm going to move on. Didn't he say he was going to come see you or something like that? Yeah, he claimed he came here to see me umpire some ball games. Claimed he came to the same diamond, and I was at second base, so I don't have a mask on. He didn't see who I am. He wasn't there. So so you had a mask on? I did not. The home plate umpire has a mask on. I don't. Oh, that's right. That's right. So you were your, did you come prepared? Did you have any weapons on you just in case you showed up? No, but I always know at all those games there's at least two cops. Even they're not in full uniform, there's two cops. They're right behind the backstop. If he tried anything, they would have removed him. So what's the legality of carrying weapons in the state of Idaho? That's where you live, right? We are constitutional carry. Have you, ha, are you even allowed to own weapons? Oh, yeah. I can own any weapon I want to carry. I could walk down the street holding, say, an AK-47, and the police here would ignore it. Have you ever tried to? No. I see guys do it. Every time I go out, I'll see somebody with a gun, either on their holster or over their shoulder, and nobody says a thing. How about this? Have you ever gone to a shooting range? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of them. There's one just two miles down the road. So let I've me guess, uh, they have targets and stuff like that. You placed in the top 10, right, of accuracy? I was actually I'm the most accurate ever to go to that range right now. You're the most accurate shooter in Idaho? My grandpa was for over 50 years, and he trained me. And now, I'm not, now I am. So what's your form? Because obviously I'm from New York City. We don't know much about guns. Like, how, how do you set up and aim? You you, you look through one eye. What, what's your uh, stance when it comes to holding uh, a rifle? I always look to my right eye because it's a little more accurate than my left. And I will tuck that thing in my shoulder, hold it tight. And if you hold it tight and steady, you have better aim. And you don't worry about the kickback because the kickback is not going to affect your aim. You just want to have it aimed right when you fire. So... At one point in your life, have you ever tried to enlist yourself in the Army? Uh, yes, there was a time my dad took me and my older brother to join the Air Force. We could not due to car wrecks. They would not allow us, and they said our backs were too damaged. They said your back was damaged? Yeah. And how did you feel when they rejected you? A little relieved, actually, because that removed me from the draft. I cannot be drafted. Jesus Christ. Imagine if another pandemic comes, right? And the United States population dwindles 80%, and you're one of the last surviving citizens. Then they will have to draft you, right? There's no excuses. If would it gets that still? bad, would there even be an army? Would there even be wars if it gets that bad? I mean, if the if the popu- 20% of the population of the United States was still remaining and Adam King was still alive, they would have no choice but to draft you, right? I guess. I'm not even sure if be wars at that point, but I guess. Well, would your back be able to sustain such a burden? I cannot carry a heavy backpack on my back, so I doubt it. But but you could carry a gun. and Yeah. And the max these... I can carry right now is about 55 pounds. Have, do you know that for a fact, or you, have you tested it out? That's what my chiropractor told me. He, he did some tests, and he told me it's about 55 pounds. He said 60 would be pushing it. So you can't lift. You can't do uh, curls when you go. I can't do a whole lot with my back against a bench. I can bench over 200, but I get pain very quickly. So, so how did that happen? How did you, you and your brother have back issues? Two car wrecks that should have killed me. He was in one and then a smaller accident. It was just car wrecks, very violent car wrecks. So what year was this? The one was in 95. The others in 2001. 
Then the other one, my brother was in, was about 2003, 2004. So, so when you say it should have killed you, what happened? You, you were you wearing a seatbelt or what? No. No seatbelt. I was wearing a seatbelt. I'd be paralyzed or dead, actually. We were driving at night up Redwood Road in Salt Lake, went through an intersection, car runs a stop sign, broadsides us right on the driver door, turned the car, flipped it up in the air about 35 feet, slammed down on the roof. That's why I would have been paralyzed or dead, because if I'm in a seatbelt and I slam down, that would just snap me in half. Jesus Christ. So this is a part of the show where we call people. Do you know who Don Sicario is? Don Sicario? Don Yankee on the body? I've, I've seen some of his videos, yeah. Do you want to give him a call so I can send you his number? I guess we can do that. All right, one second. Uh, make sure you don't show his number on screen, because then you'll have people like Reese Van Dam call him and say, don't listen to Adam. He He's a kitty fiddler or something like that with absolutely no proof whatsoever. All they claim is if you like a picture of a girl, okay, you're pedo. That's not the way it works, folks. All right. Uh, that's his number right there. Okay. Just be like saying, just say, what's up? You're on Hola Como Estas with me and Adam King. I mean, me and Felix. And let's get the show on the road. Now what? Ask him his opinions on the Yankees. And now what? This is a Hola Como Estas exclusive. We are calling Don Sicario. Apologies in advance for randomly calling you, Roberto. My phone's refusing to call him. If it doesn't work, just use uh, Google Voice. That's what I've been trying to use. I'm now putting it into the other one. Let's see what that does. Okay, So how the, how's the weather over there in Idaho? 94 and sunny right now. 94 degrees. So we're crazy. getting into the hot season. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the Idaho? Yeah, what happened? Is he not calling? Well, watch out. Watch out if you show his number. Don't go anywhere. You've been upgraded to our new savings line. Where you can save the crap. What does it say? Continue. <laughs> no. Nope. What, what it, redirected, it, it redirected to some call center. Hello, but let me see if I gave you the right phone number. Uh, and once we get to Junior Night of Falls, it gets pretty hot all the way through August. You sure you dialed that correctly? Because that's his phone number. Yeah, it redirected to a call center on both of them. It's a little weird. P paste me the number I just gave you. See if you have it correctly. Like, see what number you dialed on the phone. Okay. Cool. There's, there we are. By the way, Adam King has gone blurry now for some reason. His camera has gone blurry. My camera does that. I don't know why. Okay, where's the history? No, nope. you're doing that for Not even showing it. Yeah, I'm going to have to censor that <laughs> when I edit this. Yeah, it's the same number you sent. That is weird. Weird. So your, your camera's blurry right now. Just just put your finger on the lens and just let it follow you. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Hello, that's weird, yo. Are we getting messed with? Is is freaking double lie CIA agents messing with your camera right now? Let's try this. So if I close the screen and then put it back, it'll resume. Nope. My it's camera likes to do that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty clear with the fingers. Let it lock yeah. on your fingers. Go, 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 go next to it again. As you can see, let it lock in. Now slowly back up. <laughs> so 
What is going oh. on? You look like Casper the Ghost right now. My camera does that every once in a while. So what do you expect of, uh, of tonight's game? Uh, the Yankees going to sweep the series? Uh, I'm expecting 2-1. to one. Now, Lucas Giolito's pitching tonight. He's a shell of himself. That changes it a little bit. What's the pitching matchups the rest of the series? That would help. Let's go to Yankees on ESPN. And they just click schedule. And it shows the pitching matchups in the next week. You didn't know that. Um, the Yankees are going to – it doesn't show anything, but it will be Vasquez tomorrow. Against you Lance. Your camera automatically fixes stuff. That's weird. Yeah, it does that. So that's the game that bugs me is Vasquez against Lance Lynn. Do the Yankees shell Lynn or how do they hit him? I'm not worried about Mike Clevenger in game three. Severino's going against him. So that should be an easy win. So I'm going to go 2-1. So with Fredon coming back and Severino in the rotation, are the Yankees going to have the best rotation in baseball? If they perform to their abilities, yes. Well, what's up with Nestor Cortez? What's up with him? I firmly believe this is a fake injury to keep him fresh for the postseason. And I it, think they played the same game with some of these other guys like Severino as well. So so, so it's rigged. Yeah. I, every team fakes injuries to try to keep guys fresh. I think that's what this is. Keep them out for two weeks and put them back in there and try to keep them fresh for the postseason. So do you have like an intelligence agency stalking you online? Because I saw one of your TikToks go viral and then you showed me a screenshot of TikTok saying that your likes were invalid or something like that. Do, do they, they not want you to get famous or something? I kind of have to think so because they're saying 90% of likes in every video I put up there, which doesn't make sense because most videos only have one or two likes. So you can't really get to 90%. But yeah, they're... Uh, I haven't put a TikTok video up since because they won't let me. They so, will not let me put TikTok up. So what's up with your luck? Because I've noticed this, that you're, like, anytime you go, you're going to a high level, something stops you. I really don't know. I have something else in the works right now that once that happens, I'll probably just pull off online, just go to you, property. You'll just go off the grid, thing. live in uh, nature. Go not to the woods nature. Or I'll still be around Idaho Falls, but I'll, I will move and I'll just get to property investing and probably just not be near online as much, probably just stop doing videos, all that kind of stuff. So since you live in Idaho, I've been following this case, the Brian Koberger case. Is that in the news all the time over there? They talk about it about once a newscast. I don't really pay attention to it. So that's up in the north. You're where exactly? I'm southeast on the other side of the mountains. That's way up there in the panhandle. Up there by Coeur d'Alene and Moscow. So, so you're next to what state? Wyoming and Montana is just up above, up above me. Not even an hour north of me. And do people from those states know who Adam King is? More than I thought they would. I met a girl at a volleyball thing I play at every Wednesday. Just came down from Montana and she knew who I was. Not as the King source, but in, who I was in the area. And that, I'm one of the guys that's from the area more. <laughs> So, for an example, Adam King, you look like you, in maybe in another life, you would have been a Major League Baseball player, maybe like a second baseman or something like that. If you didn't have those back problems and stuff like that and freaking Mossad agents following you everywhere trying to ruin your life, you, you think you would have um, made a great baseball player? A yeah, I know I would have. I know I would have. I'm a switch hitter, cannon for an arm. For infield. For outfield, I struggle a little bit getting length, keeping it on there. But I threw it on a line 150 feet the other day in a softball game. Um, I know I would have. High contact type hitter. Uh, like Jose Altuve before he stopped switch hitting. I don't know why he stopped switch hitting, but he did. And I'm big enough to be though. I'm 5'7". Let me ask you this question. You would have been better than Anthony Volpe? Um, because you're similar average- sizes. What are you, like 5'9 or something like that? I'm 5'7", 155. He's about, what is he, 5'10", 170. No, he's definitely not, not 5'10". He's like 5'8", or something. Well, I saw him standing beside Mookie Betts, and he towered over. And did he vote? Figure that one out. Yes, he, he was at least an inch taller than Aunt, uh, Mookie Betts. So and let's Mookie try Betts something uh, random on this podcast. You see that bowling pin behind you? you? Just grab it by the head and and do the motion like if you're throwing a baseball. And we'll we'll try to decipher how strong your thorn arm was. That's gonna be about ten times heavier than baseball, if not more. It's got eight pounds. Just just do the form. Do the form. You gotta go you gotta come more 
uh, on the side with it. You see that? You gotta, you gotta put more like that. So for an example, if that was a real baseball, you as of now, being a 38 year old that looks like he's 22, how many miles per hour do you think you'll reach on a fastball? Um, probably be somewhere in the mid seventies right now. <laughs> mid seventies. Come on, Adam, at least mid eighties for a fastball. Fast, the fastest I've ever cl been clocked out was 88. That was back in high school. So you're saying you pitch 70 miles per hour now. I find that hard to believe. That, that would be my guess. You have to remember, I dislocated my right wrist about five, six years ago, so that's going to slow it down. So, so what's up with all these injuries you get? How, how do they, they come about? Because you had a concussion, you had a back injury, now you have a wrist injury. How, how, does, how does that keep happening? Most are not my fault. Like with the wrist, I was diving for the ball, and somebody tried to kick me, knock me off balance, and made my wrist go under me and twist. They and knocked that was, your what? They kicked me. I don't know if it's on purpose or not. I couldn't tell, but I felt something hit my side, knocked me off balance, and it twisted my wrist and made it go underneath me, and it just popped it out of the socket. So you uh, just with, cured it on yourself. You didn't go to the hospital. You just let it heal on itself. I did end up in the hospital on that one, and they put it back in the socket, put a cast on it. was had a cast on it for about four months. And how old were you when that happened? That was about 2015, so I was about 30. So what is a 30-year-old doing rolling on the floor having people step on their wrist? What, what were you doing? I wasn't rolling. I was playing volleyball, and I was diving for the ball. And they okay. kicked me right so up here. right in the gymnasium or on sand? Gym. Gym floor. Wow. You didn't get rug burn and stuff like that? No. You know what game I've always liked playing in the gym? Dodgeball. That can be fun. I don't play it anymore because I'm too concerned about getting hit in the head. But now but you yeah, know this whole culture, they're, they're considering dodgeball being, like, violent. Yeah. How is that and then, But they don't consider kickboxing and all these stuff where you're meant to hurt somebody violent. Figure that one out. I mean, the, I mean I've mean, i been hit with a dodgeball. It doesn't really that hurt that much. No. She's right. Balls, it doesn't hurt at all if you know how to absorb it. They do make a, a, a lingering sound, though, when they hit, though. It sounds yes. like, ee, like yeah. um, you ever heard uh, those sounds on TV when it comes on? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't Almost think like besides a, baseball, a, conspiracy theories, do you believe in the paranormal? Do you believe in ghosts and stuff like that? Um, yes, but they are just spirits of those who went before us. That's all they are. So since you're in tune with God and stuff, can, can we do some paranormal activity, something new right now? Say you come with love. Um, if there's any spirits in the room, um, connect with me and see what happens. I don't do that type of thing. That's the, what do you think? That's, that's witchcraft and stuff like that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's devilish stuff. That's getting into the devilish stuff. So you're saying the spirits stuck in this world didn't go to the light and they didn't go to heaven. That's why they stuck here? Yes, and there's actually a woman, a famous woman, who could see them. And she's been able to see him and talking to them. That's where the Ghost Whisper TV show came from. It's about her life. And w w what is this? Do you know the woman or you just saw it on TV? I met her. She used to live in Utah. So what is what, what happened? Did you see it for your own eyes? Uh, no. If you don't have the gift, it's a spiritual gift type thing, then you don't have it. She does. So just how did you know exactly she was telling the truth if you couldn't see what she was seeing? She would tell stories of what she saw. And then show you a new story that fit it perfectly about something that happened. And she would know it. There was no way she could have known about it. So what's she good with lottery tickets and stuff like that or what? She hated that kind of thing. That wasn't her. Did she ever foresee your future? Did she ever tell you something? Once she just looked at me once and said, you're going to be rich someday. Embrace it. And that's about the only time she did that. So, for an example, if you ever become rich, Adam King, what would be the first thing you do? Would you take Start, vacation? Would you buy cars? What would you do? I would invest in properties and set the money up to work for me. You would invest in businesses and stuff like that? A few businesses. Uh, maybe if there was like a strip mall maybe where I could get that and just rent that out or apartment complexes, stuff like that. And what do you do stuff that you haven't done before in your life, like travel the world and stuff like that? Uh, maybe, maybe. What is the one country you would like to visit? Probably Scotland. So I was why, to go why see Scotland? Because your background, your ethnicity is that? I have a lot of answers. It goes right back to Scotland. I was going to go see Stonehenge, which is between England so, and so Scotland. So you're related to Donald Trump then? 
Uh, Donald Trump is my fourth cousin, twice removed, I think it is. So you're in the uh, bloodline. If you ever wanted to run for president, you could. I actually have more say to the English throne than the current queen, king and queen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're, you're British royalty now. My royal lines connect far quick, faster, and more direct than theirs do. Put it that way. So, so your bloodline is more pure than Prince Charles, a.k.a. Frank Garrett. King Char Charles now, or whatever his name is. And yeah, he, he knows it, by the way. And I, I'm just not trying for the throne. I just don't want that life. I think it'd be so for annoying. example, you see their get up, their uniform, whatever they wear. The, what, what, what is it that they wear? The royal garb, I think is what it's called. So, so if you would ever to show up at Buckingham Palace, just walking up and, and dress like that, and you know you have your nice shoes, your nice black shiny shoes that make a sound when you walk on the concrete, and you'll say you'll have the right of the throne and it's your right to be heard, will, will they really hear you? What would happen is they would take me to the nearest royal hospital where the royals go and have a blood test done. And what that would show is whether they would hear me or not. And what would it show? It would show mine more than theirs. And then they would just bring me and say, okay, what do you want? And they just start asking so, all those so, so obviously, you know more than me. What exactly are they f trying to find in that DNA? Who, who are they testing it up against? DNA that matches to the royal lines I claim. I already have that. I have my blood tested. And yes, it connects right into King Richard... The Lionhearted, Prince John, uh, King George, King James, of the King James Bible, all of those. I'm a direct descendant of them. So obviously your surname, your last name, King, it was just like, I'm the king, right? And that's how that last name was registered in the, U in the United States. Pretty close. It was my third great-grandfather decided to change it from Rice to King because he goes, we're better set of kings, let's have a better name. And then we've been kings ever since. So it's Rice, that's the royal last name. The Rice line is not which one actually connects. It's Thomas Rice King's mom's line that goes right into King George. So have you ever tried to have this put out there that you're in the – it is the British royal family, right? Yeah. So have you ever tweeted that out or what? A few times, and once Buckingham Palace's tweeting page, or Twitter page said – Yes, we recognize there are people in America that have better royal lines, but you're not on the throne. And they, they basically told me to delete it. It's not going to do any good or stuff like that. And it's Jesus. been about five, six years. So there's no that. way to contest you being the rightful heir of the throne. I'd have to go get a blood test done, then go over there to Parliament and have Parliament put me on it. I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to go through all that. So let's say, for an example, you ever become rich, like you were saying previously. You would use your financial might to do it like no i just set get set here with all my properties all that kind of thing and then just collect all the checks every month and live off that interesting so i end up getting in these closing segments let's talk about the yankees again just say whatever you want what is going on with aaron judge if his toe was broken he'd been on the il three days ago they don't mess around with the broken bone why do they keep playing games with it that's bugging me I don't think it's broken. I think it might have been dislocated, if anything, and they put it back in, and it's a little sore. That's kind of what I'm thinking it was. But I've watched the replay several times, and I don't see where he even could have jammed it. He never kicked that little two-inch concrete thing at the base of that fence. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It's really bugging me. So speaking um, upon what you were speaking earlier, you do look kind of more skinnier. You, you lost some weight due to your sickness, right? Not really. Maybe two or three pounds. <sighs> I'm still... 155 the max i've ever gotten in my life is 158 so 158 you were consider yourself obese or something nope that's right at the top end of 75 but seven should be well actually it's 160 so, so you were, you were more muscular yeah for 75 percent of my height you're supposed to be 140 to 160 so i'm right at the top so i've had a lot of girls message me on instagram saying who the hell is this adam king guy i love the way he sings I'm, I'm going to hook you up with them. Before we go, can you, because we have a couple of more minutes on Zoom, before we leave, can you leave us with a hymn, a Christian hymn or something like that, whatever you want to sing? That's a good one. There's Rock of Ages, how great thou art. Because, you know, with this economy and the president that we have, we, we're going to need all the positive energy yeah. coming from a... British royal 
man, that's uh, actually all those kings I mentioned were Scot Scottish, and they Scotland did rule it until what was it, seventeen hundreds, when it switched over to English rule. When Mary Queen of Scots married a British royalty or something like that. By the way, Queen... talk, talking about music, Adam. Do you listen to hip hop? Do you listen to rap growing up, like old school hip nope. hip hop? You don't like it? Just classics, oldies. I learned at a young age from my mom was music major, then I was music major. My grandma, my great grandma, that whole line, they know music. But there's a vibration that comes with all music. It's either hurting your body or helping your body. So rap, the... rock, all this stuff that is actually killing you if you're listening to it. It's hurting so... the brain. And disrupting the body's vibrations. So from the top of your head, uh, sing a song that just pops up in your head that you like, that you've always liked to sing. Um, what's, what's a good one? I'm on like Cindy Larper or something like that. And oh, my soul, so weary. When trouble comes and my heart burden be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. I'm going to do the instrumental now. Keep singing. Keep singing. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. And I am strong when dun, dun. I am on your shoulders. Dun, dun. You raise dun, dun. me up to more than I dun, dun, dun. can be. Wow, that was excellent. You could be like a freaking uh, one of those priest organist guys from Catholic uh yeah. Church, whatever their musicians are called, can't remember. Organist. Uh, so this has been NYY News Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you check out other podcasts on NYY News, like Don't Yankee We're Gonna Body. This has been my host, too. The King Source. Check out my channel, too. It's just the King Source on YouTube. We'll pull it right up. Watch my videos. I'm not sure how much I'll put up there. Next and if you want to donate to Adam King and see if he finds a girlfriend, he finally gets married. What's your cash app? Dollar sign, the king source. There you have it. Adam King, take it easy. Have a good day, everybody. Before it hits the front page.